EDP 445. Now, I'm sure you guys know who EDP 445 is. He is this guy right here, heavy set fellow. And in this screenshot, this is actually a screenshot from a video where he got caught attempting to meet up with a 13 year old. The reason why I bring him up is because there was a comment that he made during or not a comment that he made, but like something that he said to the girl who ended up coming out. Her name is Liz, I believe, or Elizabeth or something like that. She ended up coming out in a video with Master at Work, and I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, he ended up saying something to her that I thought was pretty concerning. And you'll see what I mean. Go ahead and play the clip. He like got kicked out of his apartment and like he was he was trying to make me feel bad for him. He was like, when I was going through everything last year with YouTube, I thought I w it was never going to get better. Like, and then you came into my life. So in this clip right here, and the reason why I say it's a bit concerning is because he, he's talking about hope. It, it almost sounds as if like his life is over and he just cannot live his life. Now, before I get to my conclusion, I want to go ahead or my opinion. I just want to go ahead and show you guys a couple of clips that I think are probably they're, they're probably exacerbating the situation. Like, for instance, like in this clip here with uh, Black Bigelow, where he talks about that, he kind of encourages the harassment of EDP 445 because he believes it's justified. Now, that totally depends on the individual, of course, but he thinks that it's it's totally fine that he deserves it. Check it out. When you go from making ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month, and you come down to where you're looking for jobs that are paying twelve, thirteen dollars an hour, you got to think, okay, should this man? And when I say the word man, I'm really using that loosely with this guy because he's no man. He's just he's just a pig. But when is enough enough? And when do we leave him alone? And let him live his life and let him work his $12, $13 an hour job and have his crappy apartment in Las Vegas. Like, when do we leave him alone? You know, when do we when do we let him live his life? Never. That's my answer. Never. Don't let up on him. If he wants to go ahead and end it all, that's on him. And I totally respect that opinion. I'm not going to throw shade at him or anything like that. Of course, like, you know, when you are dealing with somebody who wants to engage in certain acts with a child, I mean, or not even a child, in this case, a teenager, allegedly, he was attempting to have certain activities with an 11 year old. And if you go watch that clip, that, not the clip, but the entire video, Master at Work, he will explain that situation to you, which is crazy. I did not know, okay? Now, allegedly, he ended up sending a nude to this 11-year-old, and he actually showcases the nude in that video. Bro, I promise you guys, go check that video out. It's Master at Work. I have it linked down below. It's incredible. Now, of course, if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff, that topic, like, then I would highly suggest you guys just abstain from any of that content. Um, because Master at Work does, he, he kind of makes it his prerogative to make sure that EDP isn't lying and that he's not attempting to engage in certain activities with any other minor, you know? So although that's good and stuff, one of the biggest problems that I have with at least some of the members in the crew, I mean, it's not more or less a problem, but it's just more or less like something that I, I think it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. And uh, let me show you guys some of those clips. Like I said, he's dying and he still doesn't give a fuck. Good, I'm happy he's dying. Hope he goes to hell. I was going to say that before you told me he moved back to Bakersfield, you know, I was going to hire a private investigator to find his new address and find his new job to, you know, get him evicted, make him fucking lose his job and all that shit. But, you know, you're telling me he moved back. So I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you what I have. So the reason why this makes me feel a bit uncomfortable is because if you guys know, anything like when, when you're constantly harassing somebody it, it, they can potentially be pushed to a point where they can act out erratically and they can end up causing some serious harm some damage so not just themselves but to other people around them and obviously that's never good and i feel like the constant push to just evict them from certain apartments or to just make his life miserable Listen, man, um, if you're going out there and trying to take away this guy from living his life, 
it, you know, he, he's not going to have a life to live. And if you know anything about people who don't exactly have a life to live, they got nothing to lose. You don't want to get this guy to the point where he's like, you know what, man, I don't have a life. I can't even have a life. You know what? Then what the hell? I'm going to just take people out with me because here's the thing. Okay. There's certain people out there who commit horrible acts of violence because they believe that the world is against them or that no one likes them. Okay. They believe that. Imagine this guy who is experiencing all of that EDP is actually living that life where nobody, nobody wants him around. And most importantly, people continue to make his life a living hell. And the thing is that he's actually living what a lot of these people who commit heinous acts think they are living. If this guy, he commits a, I don't know, shooting and it's massive. The people that I'm going to look at are the people who were trying to evict them, who were trying to make his life a living hell. And since you guys have recorded that stuff, admitting that stuff, people are going to look at you guys and be like, oh, you guys were the ones who were pushing them because you guys have evidence of that online. Do you guys really want to be that person who ends up pushing this guy over the edge? And then when he commits a heinous crime, you guys are just kind of looking at each other like, well, I mean, you know, it wasn't me like, bro, like you, you literally have that online. I'm not trying to protect EDP. I'm just trying to say like, listen, man, there, there could potentially be a cautionary tale here and you don't want to provoke that. Most importantly, I think that you guys should look out for yourselves because, or try to watch out what you guys say, because you guys don't want to say something that can implicate you guys in a future crime. So that's something that I just want to just bring up because I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, remember guys, just be careful what you guys say. You guys don't want to be saying this stuff because again, if he ends up lashing out at society, which there is a possibility of that happening because of all the harassment he's receiving, then, um, you know, there's going to be consequences and people are going to be looking at you guys and you guys are probably going to have to be paying those consequences. It's good that you guys are keeping track that he's not going out there attempting to uh, commit illicit activities with minors, but don't chase him down to the end of the earth. Don't make his life a living hell. Just watch out for him. Keep an eye on him. You guys are doing a great job doing that. There's no need to go the extra mile and just harass him. Like just don't do that. Okay. And even if you guys don't think that, my word is worth anything. Uh, there's another YouTuber who also agrees with me. Now, do I agree with hunting the man down and making sure he loses every ounce that makes him happy? Absolutely not. Pushing a person to the absolute edge will cause them to do things that may be way worse than what they initially intended to do. And you don't even want to be close to responsible for any of that shit. So really, in my opinion, looking at this, you know, taking this as a cautionary tale and reporting EDP to the law enforcement is a decent step to take. Anything beyond that, where you're actually going out there and like harming the guy either physically or absolutely chasing him to the ends of the earth and making sure the life is completely miserable that he's living, may be, in some cases, a bit of a step too far. Contact the law enforcement, give them everything that you have, and let them you let them fix this as much as they can. Don't think that I'm trying to protect no pedophile or anything. I'm just trying to like have you guys watch out for your words because bro we need people like you you know but at the same time you can't be doing stuff like this. you can't be saying stuff like this because that that's gonna implicate you guys and that's you know the workforce the the force of good is gonna be brought down because they also ended up provoking the force of bad so i don't know if that's <laughs> that's not even deep anyways that yeah just be careful what you say okay